Ransom, the Lord will set them free in the name of Jesus. Your name and what the Lord has done for you. Um, good evening, Koinonia. I'm Dr. Tobolefa Warikromo. I want to return all the glory to God for the great uh, mercy and deliverance he has done for me and my family. So on behalf of all of the Warikromo family, I'm here to say thank you. Um, God delivered my sister-in-law. She saw the face of death three times and today she's fine. She had the caesarean section on the Monday the 17th and what we thought was successful, we thanked God and we thought it was all over. Um, by Monday night, there were calls, oh, she's dying, she's losing blood. Tuesday night, same thing. By Wednesday morning, um, she called me by herself, Doki, pray for me. I don't want to die. I'm like, what is happening? And then we started praying, uh, reached out to thank God for our newly minted mama in the prayer department because how would I be able to reach out to my HOD at that odd hour of the day? I reached out to her and we were praying like, what's going on? Um, you know, they said, okay, they have to go back to the theater again for a corrective surgery because she was hemorrhaging very badly and they, they don't know what's going on. So they did the scans, they took her back on the table. They told us it would be two hours. And then six hours later, she was still on that table. What is going on? I'm getting calls from home crying. And, you know, first thought was, okay, get on a flight and go home. I'm like, no, this is the week of our father's birthday. The portals are open. We cannot be celebrating that day and my family will be mourning. So the glory of God, she came out of that surgery um, successfully. She was alive. We thought that was the end. We did not rest. By Thursday night again, this time was with serious frantic cries that she's dying, she's gone, they, she's going, what's happening? And then for over one hour, they were battling, we were praying, like I, every mystery that I have been taught, I did, like uh, the covenant of prayer, praise, you do the Paul and Silas thing, you do agreement prayer with, you know, my covenant sisters back in England, we were on chain prayers, people here, my family were all praying, what's going on, ask the Holy Spirit, what, what, what is missing, what have I not done? And I heard it clearly sacrifices and vows and immediately I transferred because while we're praying it kept flashing in my eyes that we were in a burial procession my family were in a burial procession and then I carried it straight I said this money that I'm keeping to say okay to sort um, the medical bills in the end I added to it and I transferred it straight to our father's account and then I told God God I vow to give you all the glory I'll come on this stage to testify when you do it for my family because I'm sorry to extend a little bit because God God has been faithful to me this year God saw me through a tumor that the prognosis was very bad twice they did biopsy twice I had like a ruptured hematomas and God saw me through I am fine Within that, God, God increased me in several ways, career-wise and in different ways. But I did not come here to say thank you. I just told the people that I knew. I, I said, okay, this is a KSOM testimony because, you know, my leaders were with me. They were, when, when I graduated from KSOM, and I'll come here as a, as a KSOM testimony. But God did not wait until I graduated from KSOM before he delivered me. So I vowed and I said, God, if you do this one, I will come back to give God the glory. I don't want to be dramatic, but as soon as I did that transfer, People were praying, no, nothing was shifting. As soon as I did that transfer, the hand of God moved. And immediately, I got the call from home that they have resuscitated her. This was over one hour of them battling. I just want to thank God because God gave us doctors that were compassionate. They did not give, give up on her. And one of the testimony of the consultants that were in the room with her said, I will just say it in his word verbatim, I saw the devil come and he put his hand in his mouth like this and he turned back. I just want to give God all the glory to God. On behalf of my family, I just want to say thank you. That we are not mourning today is because of God and God's mercy and the God of the covenant of our father. Because I said, God, if our prayers are not enough, your covenant son, you will hear his prayer. I tied it to it and God did it for me. I just want to say glory to God. Today, mother and baby are fine no complications. I just want to give God all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Can you join doctor to celebrate the Lord? Thank you so much for engaging this video to the end. Please, before you leave, give this video a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. One more thing, share this message with others to bless them. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Believers Global TV. God bless you richly as you support us. See you in our next video. We love you and celebrate you.